is the let's balance the net ionic equation that is the equation for the chemical equation for the redox reaction the given equation is Cr2O7 2 minus plus SO3 2 minus gives Cr3 plus plus SO4 2 minus that is dichromate ion plus sulfite ion gives chromium ion and sulfate ion. This net ionic equation we need to balance by oxidation number method. So by the oxidation number method, let's work out the balancing of this ionic equation. given equation we have written once again and this equation I just mentioned the arrow mark right the arrow mark was mentioned the first step we need to assign the oxidation number of all the atoms present in the ionic equation. So let's assign the oxidation number first. Oxygen, its oxidation number is minus 2. Oxidation number is minus 2. Just a second, the arrow mark was mentioned. Yes, oxygen, its oxidation number is minus 2. This is the familiar example for oxy oxygen. Usually, its oxidation number is minus 2. So, first of all, oxidation, oxygen oxidation number we have written. Now, the first uh, ion that is Cr2O7 2 minus, in this chromium oxidation number we need to assign that is oxygen, its oxidation number is minus 2. Uh, oxygen 7 times are there. So, 7 into minus 2, that is equal to minus 14. Minus 14, that is 2x minus 14 is equal to minus 2. So, 2x is equal to, what is that? 14 minus 2, that is equal to 12. 2x is equal to 12, therefore x is equal to 6, plus 6. So chromium, its oxidation number is plus 6. Similarly, sulf sulfur in sulfide oxidation number we need to work out. Sulfur in sulfide, their oxidation number we need to work out and assign sulfur sulfur oxidation number sulfur only one atom is there so its oxidation number we can consider x plus oxygen three times are there so three times minus two that is equal to its charge that is minus 2. The oxidation number rule in a polyatomic ion the sum of the oxidation numbers is equal to its charge. In a neutron compound this algebraic sum of the oxidation numbers of the atoms present in the compound is equal to 0. <coughs> Here in the case of sulfite 
sulfur oxidation number we have considered x oxygen it is minus 2 total 3 atoms are there so 3 times minus 2 that is equal to the charge of the ion that is minus 2 so if we simplify what will be that x minus 6 is equal to minus 2 x is equal to this minus 6 will become plus 6 at the right hand side so 6 minus 2 that is equal to plus 4 so sulfur in sulfur trioxide its oxidation number is plus 4 the next oxidation number chromium ion cr3 plus its oxidation number in a uh, monoatomic ion the oxidation number of the atom present in the ion is equal to its charge only so as a result chromium ion its oxidation number is plus 3 it's plus 3 sulfur in sulfate ion oxidation number we need to calculate sulfur we don't know so we can assume that x plus oxygen four times are there four atoms so four times each oxidation uh, ox oxidation state of oxygen is equal to minus two so four into minus two that is equal to the total charge of the ion is minus two so if we simplify what will be that x minus eight is equal to minus two that is x is equal to 8 minus 2 that's equal to plus 6 so oxidation number of sulfur in sulfate is plus 6 it is plus 6 so now we have assigned the oxidation numbers of all the atoms present in the pot polyatomic ion as well as the monoatomic ion also we have assigned the oxidation numbers this is the first step now we need to identify the oxidation reaction and reduction reaction and how the oxidation number increase what's the increase in oxidation number and decrease in oxidation number that we need to work out in the case of chromium in the case of chromium chromium the oxy chromium and sulfur we need to compare their oxidation their change in oxidation number in the case of chromium the oxidation number is changed from plus 6 plus 6 to what's that plus 3 from plus 6 it has changed to plus 3 that is there is a dec in decrease in oxidation number there is a decrease in oxidation number decrease in oxidation number All right decrease in oxidation number that we can work out decrease in oxidation number how many times it decreased from plus 6 it has become plus 3 so there is a decrease in oxidation number of plus 3 in the case of sulfur the oxidation number initially it was plus 4 it has changed to what's that plus 6 that is in sulfide SO3 the oxidation number of sulfur is plus 4 but in the oxidation oxidation number of sulfur in sulfate SO4 it is plus 6 so in this case what we can find that there is a 
increase in oxidation number. There is an increase in oxidation number. Oxidation number is increased. Oxidation number is increased. How many times it will increase? From plus 4 it has become plus 6. So plus 2 is increased. So now we have identified the decrease in oxidation number as well as increase in oxidation number. Using that number that is chromium ion the oxidation number decreases by plus 3. Sulfur the oxidation number decrease, increases by plus 2. So what we the, what we need to do using this plus 3 we need to multiply the sulfur ion on the right hand side of the equation similarly using this plus 2 we need to multiply the chromium ion on the right hand side of the equation after that the left hand side we need to balance that we can work out at the next page so sulfur has to be multiplied by 3 times chromium has to be multiplied by 2 times on the right hand side sulfur it is to be multiplied by 3 times chromium needs to be multiplied by 2 times chromium has to be multiplied by 2 times That we have written chromium at the left hand side, the right hand side two chromium at the left hand side chromium two times sulfur on the right hand side three times. Sulfur on the right hand side three times, but the left hand side it is only one time. Therefore, we need to multiply the sulfur by three times. So now we have multiplied the decrease in decrease an increase in oxidation number with the on the right hand side and after that we have balance on the left hand side also now we need to check the charges of the equation the charges we need to count now the left hand side Cr2O7 2 minus here the charge is minus 2 at the next ion, the charge is 3 times minus 2, that is minus 6. That is minus 6. On the right hand side, 2 chromium ions, its charge is plus 6. 2 times 3 plus plus 6. The next one is sulfate ion 3 times, so 3 times minus 2, that is equal to minus 6 so here the right hand side the total charge is 0 but the left hand side the total charge is how much minus 8 minus 2 plus minus 6 minus 8 and this reaction the condition it is given this reaction is carried out in acid medium if the reaction is carried out in acid medium what based on the charges we need to add H plus on the appropriate side so right hand side the charge is the net charge is 0 but the left hand side it is minus 8 so how the minus 8 will become 0 if we add 8 plus 
So already here 8 minus is there, minus 8, it has to become 0. Therefore, what we need to do, plus 8 has to be added. Plus 8 has to be added. So in here, we need to add plus 8. That 8 only, 8 hydrogen ions we need to add. That we need to add to the left hand side. So here we are adding 8 hydrogen ions, 8H plus. 8H plus we have added. Now when we check that, when we check, when we check the atoms on the equation, the left hand side hydrogen atoms are there but the right hand side there's no hydrogen atom therefore we need to add the hydrogen atom the right hand side so to balance the hydrogen atom we need to add water molecule left hand side eight hydrogens are there therefore on the right hand side we need to add that is four moles of we need to add Four moles of water. Four moles of water has to be added. Now, when we check all the atoms and the charges, everything will be equal. Chromium atom, both the side two atoms. Sulfur atom, both the side three atoms. Hydrogen, both the side eight atoms. Oxygen. In chrome, in dichromate, it is seven times. In sulfide, three threes are nine. That is sixteen times. The right hand side, three times four, that is twelve times. Plus in four moles of water, four times. So twelve plus four, sixteen. Nine plus seven, also sixteen. So oxygen atom also equal. All the atoms are equal on both the sides of the equation. The charge is also equal. So this equation is now balanced. So the balance a net ionic equation is Cr2O7 2 minus aqueous plus 3 SO3 2 minus aqueous plus 8 H plus aqueous gives 2 CR3 CR3 plus aqueous plus 3 SO4 2 minus aqueous plus 4 H2O liquid. Thank you so much for watching.